25th day. Oh, 25th day. Oh, yeah. I'm almost been subbing for 25 days. Well, not subbing for 25 days. Have subbed. Great job. Oh, there goes me. 25 days. Woo! We're going at it. Almost a month in. Well, it's March. Well, February, pretty much. Or March, pretty much. The last day of February. February 28th. And here we are, about to hit March 1st. Pretty good, pretty good. Um, let's see. Today, I was a language arts teacher. Didn't know what I was talking about. I am the. That's my worst subject. I don't know anything about English, even though it's my first language. And you know what? I was very uh, not helpful when it comes to content. But, well, and I also wasn't very helpful in how they did their material on their computer. But... I wanted to talk about management, classroom management with eighth graders. Obviously, they think they're cooler than cool, and they either really are going to hate high school or they're going to really love it. There's no middle, unless there's really no middle. <laughs> you're either really excited or really going to hate it, or are just already dreading it. And it's with eighth grade I, I like to have some fun however with my classes but you can't I can't play music because they're like I want my own music or blah 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 they're starting to figure out how they work better or they're starting to figure out what doesn't work like for example I work with this person it doesn't work out can I please light up there we go I work with this person, it doesn't work out. I work with this person, works pretty good. And then they learn it a lot quicker. It's not like 5th grade or even 6th graders where they just, I'm going to do it. Eh. 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 8th graders, they, at least hopefully your school is teaching them to be model people for the 7th and 6th graders. They are, they, they, want work to be done but they hate the process of getting something done so making it fun but can't play music um you gotta watch what they say what you say around them because it's not monkey say monkey do it is monkey will tell on you if you say something bad for example i was like man that kid is uh quite annoying to deal with and then that got flipped and the kid was like hey he called you annoying and i was like I just said you're being annoying, but sure, sounds good. And the kid was like, mm, I'm not annoying. You're being hard to work with, is what I should have said. Professionally, should have said hard to work with. But kids will tell on you at that age. Eighth graders, they will tell on you. Uh, especially if they don't know you as a sub. Let's see. What are you guys doing over there? What the heck? See over there? Huey's popcorning. And she stopped, of course. There she is. They're popping off over there. Okay. I think I'm going to let them roam around after this. Let's see, anything else? Uh, I was talking about classroom management. Yeah, if you're used to classroom management being, I want to play music, to cool down the room, I'm not going to do that. However, if you work with them, if you let them understand, you'll get things if you work hard. They typically respond better, at least the kids that I had. It was um, like middle class, lower middle class. Uh, suburban area outside of a city, pretty much, or in a city, a pretty small city. Oh, okay, pretty small city, but they still kind of respond to a reward system. So if you have rewards or token system, or they have 15 passes per semester to do what they want, or just use, or gain. That still works. Middle school still works. Same with elementary school. Um, 
like I said, don't play music. Token and any of those systems, reward or takeaway systems, are, uh, are a go. They're good. If you're having trouble with your 8th graders, I haven't had the opportunity to team them against each other. Usually doesn't work. Still with elementary, they can't handle too much information. They can handle a little more. Like, for example, if I said, all right, we're going to work on, you've just done number one, good job. Number two, you're going to work, or you're going to read dog parks. Second uh, thing posted in Google Classroom is the Google form to fill out your reading. Afterwards, you may work on Study Island or um, whatever they're working on, Shark Tank, whatever. Boom, they can take all that information and be like, good, sounds good. They may need some help, and they love help. Oh my gosh, if you can help them out with their content, they're like, you're the smartest person in the world. Uh, of course, classroom management, I think every year just re uh, revolves around that rapport. Eighth graders, you help them out, you're their best friend. Instantly having them on your side. It's great. It's awesome. Not all the time, um, but yeah. And keeping that high, this is also difficult. It seems like in middle school, so I'll go through it. Uh, don't play music or anything like cringy. They'll get lost or you'll just lose them. Uh, reward takeaway systems, helping them out constantly and making sure they're on track. Builds that rapport, using their name, all that stuff. Um, what was I going to say? What was I going to say? Oh no! Oh no! What was I going to say? Ah, shoot. Um, um, oh no! What was I going to say? I didn't have the opportunity to pit them to, against each other, but that's more for a more setup class. Like at the beginning of the year, um, they work. They work. Oh no, I forgot. Don't play something cringy, cringy, or let them play their own music. They work. I found a lot of. Uh, maybe I'll remember. I found a lot of success when I sent just one of the kids out of the room and just worked in the hallway. It's one of these classes that just. I, I work better in the hallway, and you're like, okay, sounds good. This is what this is grunt work. This is stuff that you will just, you know, kind of individually work on and go ahead and move out, and you're good. So they liked, they liked the quiet. They're still figuring out how to work. Like I already said, they're figuring out how to work. Wow, I can't remember what I was gonna say. That's okay. That's all right. So yeah, building that rapport. Um, don't play music like you usually do in elementary, like, oh, we're going to play this music, a background music. They usually don't like that. Um, do uh, reward or point system still works. They're kind of getting, lo they're kind of losing it, but at that point before high school, they should be all right. It's, it's a system that'll keep, oh, that's right. And keeping high expectations. This is difficult. Middle schoolers are going to hate high expectations because they are, they are grounded. They love where they're at right now. They do not want change. They do not want high school. Or they really want high school and they want to not be in this class. You're going to have the extreme of both. I believe right now, which this could change, high expectation always. High expectation for your high schoolers. If you're playing with my ruler, that's mine. Or someone else touches it. Now, if they think of some way around it to touch it while work on it, the ruler, then sure. I mean, you'd probably do that in real life. If you got in trouble for something, you'd try to get around it. However, high expectation. I kick the kid out. That is, I told him, stop doing that noise. That's annoying. And then, boom. You didn't stop doing that noise. Get out of my classroom. Rest, he worked on his stuff in the high school. In the, he worked on his stuff in the middle school, or sorry, in the hallway. It was fantastic. Everyone else was like, "Wow, we work a lot better with him without him." However, do not forget your kids in the hallway. I've already done that. I feel really stupid about it. But those were some of my successes. If you have any other successes, chime it in the comments down below. Like I said, four videos ago, I got eight views. 
hoping to get more. But eight views is a start. I love it. I love it. Okay. Well, see you later, alligator!